edition of what horse we yes, had two sir. great horse shows we had two real good two horse shows and yep. for all of y'all out there we, we've decided the best way to do this commercial deal is to flip so you got a coin i got a, yeah, I got a coin right there all right now we, we got heads you do it and tails i do it i guess you do it hey, hey that's my quarter right there oh oh okay, okay. <laughs> I, I can't blame me for mm -hmm. trying mm -hmm. we'll be right back after these messages Welcome to where the five to nine more than makes up for the nine to five. To where you check your troubles, along with your coat. And days are made, even at 10 at night. Welcome to the best time you've ever had, since the last time you were here. To old friends, new experiences, and forgotten cares. Welcome to where life moves at the speed of you. Welcome to Sam's Town Tunica Hotel and Gambling Hall by Boyd. Welcome to where you want to be. Watch for Eli Cunningham as he rides into Lebanon under a new show pleasure division on It's the Medalist and Yakety Yak. Eli and It's the Medalist have been in the winner's circle many times through the years, and this year they are going for top honors at the 86th National Celebration. Eli will be teaming with Yakety Yak for their first appearance in the Big Oval. Eli and his family ask for your support as he rides for spotlight honors during the Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. Folks, this is where you send money to help in the legal fund to combat the new proposed rulemaking that the USDA released here a couple weeks ago. This is tax deductible donation as fast as a 501c3 and be sure to put legal fund on your memo line as this guarantees that your money goes exactly where you want it to go. I got this right here. Spencer Benedict Stables going to have a yearling social. They're going to be leading some coats around out there. The yearlings just, you know, a lot like other barns do. They let them come out, especially during the celebration. But this is going to be over at uh, Jake Jacobs' place over in Christiana, Tennessee. They're going to do it Friday and Saturday, the 9th and the 10th. We're going over Saturday and check it out and get some video of them yearlings because they, they've got 25. And they'll, but Saturday, they'll be doing it up until noon or a little after. Yeah. But before that, Friday, they'll be doing it all day Friday. But I'm going to be in Nashville Friday. But anybody interested in this, call Spencer Benedict at 270-590-5235. That's 270-590-5236. He said he has about 25 yearlings that they'll be able to come out, let people look and check them out. I wouldn't be surprised to see Allie Joe leading some, some of them up of through it. there. Yeah. She's got to get in on it. Now, uh -huh. I'm going to tell you oh, somewhere. Yeah. And now, I just want to say this. I am looking forward to the 86th celebration. I've seen some awfully good horses this weekend, some super classes. It's just uh, it's really unbelievable. But they, there were some three-year-olds out there. That, that uh, Cole Chill's coat that Jerry Mites got that Becky showed yes. an amateur in one. That's a nice and then horse. Jesse Barnes showed. I tell you what, he he could win 
one or even both of those categories, the yeah. amateur or the stud. Uh -huh. I mean, that's a good coach. Oh, that's a good coach. Yeah, yeah. Coach Hills is throwing some good coats out there. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Well, I'm, I got to take my hat off to Jesse Barnes. Yes, Jesse he, does a good young. job. He, he's eager. He, he studied under some good people. And, it, and it's showing up. I mean, it's showing up and now. And you know, his dad was a good horse trainer. Yeah. His yep. dad was a real, was a good, talented horse trainer. And, and his, that's the only time he gets to tell his mother what to do is when she rides. Yeah. Rest yeah. time at rest time at Jess Mound. You know and Becky's a good rider. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. But uh, I do want to say this. Uh, we're going to show a video from this weekend. And I've had different people call me with different comments. But we're going to show this video of inspections. And this, to me, is the proper way to inspect. This lady, she's thorough. She doesn't give anything up. She's 100% professional as far as I'm concerned. Yes, me too. Well, the biggest thing to me, Jerry, on this situation like this, I mean, if somebody's doing what they're supposed to do and doing the job, you got to take your hat off to them well, and, you know, because she is doing what she, she is doing her job. Well, you do. I mean, it's, it's just part of, yep. you give credit where credit is due. And I thought this lady was very professional. And what, what I really noticed was this, Jerry. Nobody was dreading going up to inspection. You're you exactly right. No one was leaving because of the inspections being out of hand. You know, she got a flashlight. She's looking at that horse. I mean, she didn't any spots or anything. But the, the timing. If you, I timed her one time, less than two minutes, she's got a horse inspected. It's not like some of these others, and and I've, I've got people said, well, Jerry, you know that they'll probably fire her because she's being honest. Well, if that's what our government has sunk to, that they'll go after somebody because they're ethical, that tells me they need to change the criteria and the requirements for them hiring a VMO to begin with. Because if you've got to be dishonest or not be correct in, in what you're finding. See, she even checked the back legs. Yeah. Here's another. And I ain't saying that she didn't pass every horse she checked either. No. Uh, I watched one, and, and I'm going to talk about this one because the DQP checked it, and he, he went around the foot. The horse didn't move. Of course, they have to do it twice. Went back around it, and the horse moved. So he goes back around it again. The horse doesn't move the next time. He went back, and the third time it moved. Then he did it again, it didn't move. He gave credit to the horse, the benefit of the doubt. However, she checked him, and it seemed like every time that she went to that spot, he would move. He didn't move every time, but yeah. he moved the majority of the time. And she turned him down, which she should have. I mean, that's just being, she did her job, but I feel like the DQP did his job too. Well, the biggest thing of it is, what I see at this, she's doing her job, and you look around, it ain't a crowd of people hanging around. No. Most of the time, there's more people that's watching the inspection I than they're watching the horse show. Everybody was out there watching the horse show and let this lady do her job and do what she's supposed to do. Well, they, to me, if you're ethical and honest, that was the only thing she did that I questioned is why that horse had been in the ring. See, this one's coming out, so she was getting checking her hands before she went up there. Well, the grease is going to come off on her hands because that horse was in the ring. Yeah. But still again, she checked it very thoroughly, and I was tickled. I was sitting there watching, and just so everybody knows, that's my horse. And I knew it wasn't nothing wrong with him. But I, I still, I wanted to video her inspect him. I'm glad she did inspect him. Well, you got to inspect the good with the bad. I mean, That's you just it. can't be one way and only downfall when something goes on bad. Right. You know, you got to do the good things too, you know. 
and let everybody know outside the horse industry that, you know, it just ain't just that we just put down on the BMOs all the time. I mean, when you have something good or you have somebody doing what they're supposed to do, you tell, you show them the way it's supposed to be inspected. Well, I'm gonna tell you, we're working on a video now. I've already gone over it with CJ. We're gonna have this video here, her inspecting. We're gonna have video of Amy Adams inspecting. We're gonna have video of Carrie McHenry inspecting. It's going to have video of Dassault inspecting, and it's gonna have video of um, the nanny. Yes. Rebecca Nanny uh -huh. inspecting. And then we're gonna show the video that the USDA has put out saying that's the way they inspect horses. You're gonna see a major difference yeah. in what this young lady did, what the soul does, what Rebecca Nanny does, and then you're gonna see a I mean a major difference when we show Carrie McHenry and Amy Adams. There's gonna be a difference in the way they inspect. Yes. And, and it's not right. All of them are supposed to inspect the same way, honestly and ethically. And I'm not, I'm not trying to paint a rosy picture of the horse industry. What I'm trying to do is tell everybody that there's a right way and there's a wrong, wrong way. way. That's right. These trainers work hard to bring horses up there that are compliant. I see what y'all go through on a daily basis at the barn. Other, other trainers go through the same thing. It's not right for y'all to rise to the occasion only to get there and them come up and change rules. And they've done it for years yes. now. They changed the, to no show back. They changed to, well, we're not going to give you a second opinion. They, they do all this to hinder us. Yeah. And just so everybody knows, they had they started at six o'clock. They was out of there a little after twelve. Yeah. Now, if McHenry had been there, or Amy Adams, it'd been one o'clock, one thirty or two. And they it, had a bunch of horses in them classes. Yeah, they had a lot of horses. And fed both of them horses. That shows. young lady checked a bunch of them, but she didn't take all day checking them. Yes. She did her job, got it done, and that the USDA ought to be giving her a raise for showing that they can have people working for them that do not have an agenda. That young lady didn't have an agenda. Yes. She did not. And and to, for, for that, I take my hat off to her. I do want to get everybody to go over to Spencer Bendix, though. I think that's going to be, I he think got be some a good, great yeah, studs. Be, he do got a bunch of good horses over well, there. They put a lot of them out. I mean, they, yes. they sell a lot of yearlings. And there's a lot of people selling yearlings right now. And they got a bunch of good horses that they put in, young horses they put in the ring. Yeah, they do. And R.M. I they, mean, they do they, a good uh, job of putting horses in the ring. Their horses are very presentable. But now we're spo we're not supposed to brag on R.M. Kerry told me to go to his head. To go to his head. Nah, <laughs> R.M. always been the same. Ever since hey, I've been he, doing him, he's, he's, he's been the same hey, way. He always speaks, always on. Yep. We, we have a lot of young trainers that are super good to do a lot. Yes. I mean, I'm... I'm I keep watching Jesse Barnes. He he has come a long ways, and then we we've got others out there. Oh, we got a lot of y good young talent, young trainers out there. We got some sons of former trainers. Yes, Little Weaver. Mm-hmm. Now Lake Lake does a good yeah, job. Yeah, he does a good job. So we got a lot of different people at a lot of barns. Sam Martin. Yeah. Now Sam Sam's a good showman. I'm looking forward to seeing all of them during the celebration. Right? Yes. Because it's going to be good. There's a lot of horses out there that you're gonna see, that we had one this weekend that we're gonna show ads on them. A pony that showed in Fedville, turned around the next night, showed in War Trace, got reserved both nights. But now you thought this pony was consistent. It's like Beth Beasley's, uh, BB, I think it's BB that shows the the black horse. That, big enough. Yeah, big enough. They just, it's just that they stay consistent, the whole class. They don't, you don't see a, or anything like that. They're just smooth gated horses and they look great. So that, I'm looking forward to seeing what they do in that big ring and, and going back. Cause I know big enough can take that big ring. Yeah. Uh, the country lineman, he can do it. 
So we got a lot of youth that's going to be showing at the celebration that some of them youth classes are going to be better. Oh, yeah. But, you know, you talking, you go back and talking about these young trainers that's coming up. You know, R.M., going back to R.M., R.M. is a, a talented young man that's training. But now, to me, what I can see, Spencer is there in the background showing him and helping him. That's and it. that's the biggest thing that a lot of young people have to remember that you have to have sometimes you can take the old and with your newness put together you can make a good team and i think that's the problem that's the deal that they have because they make a good team together well i'm I'm just going to point this out your son jeremy he worked with you for years yes then he went and he worked with jeff green for a while yeah then he come back and worked with you now he's down working with jimmy mcconnell at his barn so he is learning the different ways that you train, the different ways that... Well, you have to. I mean, and all of that. And he even went out and talked to Dick Peoples one day about different ways to, that things can be done and you can do it. A lot of it's shoeing. I've watched, I've watched Dick Peoples honestly watch a horse and turn around and he said, I need to change that shoeing. The blacksmith comes in and he said, I want you to rotate that shoe about a quarter of an inch. Now you look, I'm sitting there when he does it, I said, I don't know who he's shooting that BS to, but I ain't buying this. After they got done, they rode the horse and it made a major difference. You know, <laughs> I mean, Dick, if you're watching this, don't take it to your head, but now <laughs> Dick is a, a talented horse trainer now. Well, I learned take a lot. It to his head. I learned a, I learned a lot from Dick. But I, I mean, I, in between I, him and my dad and a couple other guys out there, Eddie Tuck and Jeff Willis and some of the ones I work for, you know, over time. Okay. I mean, but now Dick, he's a he's he's talented with a horse. Well, now. well Dick's a horse. Yeah, he I mean, is. He, he likes the trail riding, he likes the horses, and he understands horses, and that helps a lot. Yes. Some people are just horse trainers. They, they train horses. Some are... Some are maintainers, more, and you got trainers. Right. And, and you, they all blend together. That's why a horse might not be that good with this trainer, but it goes over to this trainer. Yeah. And, and it's completely yakety-yak. Yeah. And then... The yak and yak gets sold and it's worth twice as much after it got sold as it was when you sold it. Uh -huh. So those are things that are pretty common. And you got a lot of guys in the background is good trainers that do. You take that Vince Pruitt. Yeah, Vince is a, I'm going to tell you, he's a talented man with a horse now. But well, now. That's what's going to make the celebration so great. Yes. We got over 2,500 entries. Uh, we got a lot going on during the celebration, but I'm looking forward to it. And I'm looking forward to some, I'm looking forward to a very competitive state class. Yes, I am too. We got some good ones out there. We got some dark horses. So it's, it's going to be, it's going to be fun. But I tell you what, let's do. Let's just go to the heart of champions and watch a little video. That'll work. I am a little right lady. There. In I am a little Wright, lady in, in Casey Wright for Woods and Robert. I am a little lady in Casey Wright. what, that's a good three year old mare. It is a good three year old mare. Right. Casey and them does a real good job with horses. They, I mean, they kind of, they, they off to themselves, but now when they come out to the, to the limelight now, they show out. Well, when they show up at a horse show, you know they're bringing talent. That's they're, right. They're not just bringing a horse, they're bringing talent. It's like they say, they show up and show out. Uh, there's one. Yep. I really like that horse a lot, a lot, and that's a fact. Just uh, this horse right here is a nice horse. Blaze does a good job with this horse right here. Oh yeah. And that Blaise young man right there sits that horse very well and presents that horse good. I like that horse right there. What about this? That's another good horse. <laughs> I gave him a stick horse one time that I had a guy make that uh, that he rode that stick horse so much. I had a spring put in where his head would bobble. And uh, they, uh, he rode, he, he wore that stick horse out until he broke the spring in the head. They said the head just laying over to the side. <laughs> 
<laughs> but Ryder, Ryder now, he, he's, he, he's in there. Yeah. And I want to thank Debbie for putting him on here. So she said, I got to have Ryder on TV. <laughs> He, he's, he's something else. He made a great show. Real good show. Yeah, real good. Dark rain right there. This horse is a nice horse now. I always like that horse. Well, you talk all day long yeah. about it, but it's always going to be the same. Taylor's a good rider. She, she can really present a horse real well. Hey, she works at it. Yeah, and she she's another. She's just an older version of Ally Joe because she she works hard. I know Jimmy told me one time that she came out there just about every day to practice cantering, so she could make sure she got it yeah. right. A lot of people they 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 don't work at it. They just want to do, do it. Do it. Uh huh. And there there's a difference. It's like you you may want to. Uh, when you fool these horses, that's something that you got to love and eat and breathe all the time if you want to be a successful at it and do good. That's a fact. Yeah. You got to work at it every day. You got to work at it. It's not just, I'll do it now and then, but I, you got to do it all the time. But I believe we got more video coming. So here we go. This is Marshall County. Hey, it they was a good show. A good show. It, it was a good show here. Ladies' privilege, Thomas Derrickson. I tell you what, Missy and Tim have got a lot of good horses yeah. in their lineup. Oh yeah, they do got good horses. I mean, this is a good man right here. That's a good young horse trainer, and it's like I say, the That's old another. and the another. new, the old and the new coming together right here. Well, he's got a mother and daddy both teach him yeah. how to do it. But now Thomas is a fine young man. He's just too tall. <laughs> I talked to Herbert the other day, and he said he's so proud to have his son working for him and training well, horses. I just so. Yep. And right here, I'm the boss lady. Hey, I'm the boss lady is is a piece of work yes. to me. I love the way she goes. I mean, she's timed up great. Just and Bob, I mean, like those saying goes, you, you can say so much, and, and then there, you run out of things to say about a good yep. person. He is a good person. Hey, Bob's a piece of work now. He's, he's something special. Something special. Always friendly, smiling. I mean. You very seldom see him that he ain't smiling. That's now. right. Honored in Texas. Honored in Texas. I love this horse. Yeah. Now, I really do. I like watching these horses. You like you to watch them grow from from little all the way up. You know, you didn't see him as a two year old. And all. It's fun when you when you see one and you say he's going to be pretty good, and then you watch him as he develops. Yeah, and that's when it really. I was talking to a guy yesterday, and we were discussing three different horses, and he said, "Hey, he said I've got a good one, but he said those two, it's going to be hard to beat them." In in the He's right. You've got the way it goes. This horse right here is a nice horse, a real good horse. I wonder why you say that. I, well, I always got a little <laughs> touch of point in my heart right there, you know. Look, Courtney is a, is a good rider, riding a good horse. It helps those that you help start. And, That's and right. Watch them develop. Watch them develop and go on, especially from day one. Yep. Well. She was included in a conversation I had yesterday, too. <laughs> you got these horses that, that, are, that go both in the amateur and the open oh, division. Yeah. And, and you get in the amateur division, this one pops up. You get in the open division, another one pops up. That's right, but that's a nice horse right there. Yeah, it is. And right there, do not count that one out no, until celebration don't. time. He, to me, right now, he, he is, he, he just a piece of work, and he's not the only one. There's some others in there that are super good, and I mean super good. But I do like Kevin. Yep, Kevin is a good horse. Well, Tim has been working hard with him. Yeah. And Knox worked with him, and uh, 
Bruce now just tickled. I ain't gonna flip no coin. You done flipped it and took your quarter back, so I ain't getting it. Well, I'm glad to have my job back. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> we'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> A call to Spencer Benedict Stables in Murfreesboro, 270-590-5285 or 270-590-5235 will provide the first step in breeding to one of the top stallions in the walking horse industry. World Grand Champion, Mr. True Blue, a consistent blue ribbon winner with a stud fee of $1,000. Or select Amateur Show Pleasure World Grand Champion, El Zaro Star, a constant winner in both open and amateur competition and has a multi-mare discount with a stud fee of $750. Both of these World Grand Champion stallions provide championship bloodlines with live full guarantees. Take that first step in adding another World Grand Champion in the walking horse industry. Make the call and make your selection. Watch Rally Joe Jacobs during the 86th National Celebration when she competes for the highest honors aboard Ain't He Grand in the 11 and under equitation division. Allie Joe will be guiding Switchblade in the 11 and under pony division as she goes for championship honors in a highly competitive division. In the Youth 11 and Under Mare Division, Allie Joe will be guiding I Sang Dixie as they thrive for top honors. The Jake Jacobs family asks for your support as Allie Joe Jacobs rides for your approval. Folks, this is where you send money to help in the legal fund to combat the new proposed rulemaking that the USDA released here a couple weeks ago. This is tax-deductible donation as fast as a 501c3, and be sure to put legal fund on your memo line as this guarantees that your money goes exactly where you want it to go. All righty, we're going to head to Pulaski, Tennessee and show some videos from up there. Now, they, they had a good they had a show. Good show with Pulaski. So yep. it was, uh, that was even with uh, some, how do I want to say that? With some questionable inspection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they, they still had a good show. Right there. I, see. I, I love nice horse. <laughs> i tell you what I like about this horse. When he comes in, you see him at Red Roan. They named him good, and, and she does a great job. She won Pulaski, uh, War Trace last year. This year, she wins Pulaski on a Red Alert and Kim Lewis. And this was his show back to back. Yeah, sure did. Show Lewis Burton, then turn around and show him. Turn around and show him next night yep. in Pulaski. Yeah. Kim go back and say, Dan, I won. You didn't. <laughs> Now this horse right here, hey, the chief. You you look at the chief in the two-year-old class, and the thing about this, this horse got in that ring, and you had the inspection was over there. Was, I know, you know. That's that's the big thing. That says that says a lot. Now this horse here, he can do it right. You see him come out of that rail right there. Being made about him. Yeah, and he just. They, uh, and this horse still young. Yeah, a lot of people high on that horse. I'm always high on this horse though because I, I just like Dark One. He is, he, he just, that's what you see right there. You got a walking horse. Oh yeah. And he, that's what he does. He walks, he shakes, he moves forward, and he's timed up just about as good as you'd want. Yeah. Great head, good reach, back end. He, you couldn't want anything else out of a horse. No. And here's Honor and Remember. He's another good one. That horse right there will be around for a long time. He will. He's going to be a good breeder, yeah. too, I believe. Matter of fact, I think Kim Dam have already bred him. I think. I may be wrong. If I am, she'll clap. <laughs> Correct what I said. Dan's doing a great job. Dan is doing a good job. 
All right. That finished out Pulaski. Now we're going to go over to Fedville and watch some some video over there. That They had a good show. They did. A lot of people, there was a lot from Alabama, it seemed like, in Kentucky over there. Yeah. But now, I know that a young lady over there won the pony class, or was reserved in the pony class. The girl, the young lady, the little duck girl that won it, was from uh, Kentucky. Yeah. So, that's it. Right here's your 11 and under class. The Southern Attitude and Levi Parker took the blue. Jose's Tomboy and Taylor Kate Parrish was reserved. I'm a mastermind, Wilder Way. And Ignite the Night, Jansen Wilson finished out the ribbons. Them kids are having fun. Oh, Lord, yeah, they are. They're rocking and rolling, moving yep. on. That's what I like to see. I like to see the kids have a good time. Oh, yeah, me too. Seen one little boy in a stick horse class that he got shaking his stick and his head fell off. <laughs> They've dressed up their ring over there quite a bit. Yeah, they did. They done a good job on that ring. I thought that looked awful good. All right here's your youth ponies. Skywalk's threatened. Alex Luttrell won this class. That's a good horse. That too. is a good horse. Jake Ryan and Harlan Lawrence was reserved a champ. Skylin Wilson and Young Jackson. Arbery Smith finished out the ribbons. I tell you what, Arbery's doing a good job. Oh, yeah. Right there she is. And that's a good pony she's on. She does a good job. I'm proud of her. She's back in the ring showing. Yeah. CJ must have thought she was doing a good job, too. He's getting quite a bit of her in there. Yeah. This is a good class of ponies yeah, right here. Was. Wasn't nothing wrong with it. That's why when, when you go down through there and you're selecting your winners, yeah. it's pretty, pretty tough, pretty tough. Jake Ryan. Right there is Jake Ryan and Harlan Lawrence. She was reserved for Harper Lawrence. Now you see this pony right here? Showed again the next night at War Trace with a younger version. Uh-huh. Shane Porterfield's granddaughter. He was he was tickled. I don't blame him. And here's your part performance amateur class. Run it one, please. This was won by a catch ride. Wakanda. Yep. And Shane Porterfield took the blue in this one. Jose is Desperada and Lisa Chockley. Drop a line, Jordan Golden. In honor of the angel flight, Barbara Appleton finished out the ribbons. But I think I talked to Shane. He said, you know, Sid, they just asked me to ride that horse first time I'd ever been on it. Won the blue ribbon for Rick and Marla oh, Lovett. Love mm -hmm. <laughs> Made them happy. Yep. You know anybody that their, that walk, ever did a catch ride for their world first world championship? No. Uh, Bill Bobo. First one was a catch ride. Okay. I learned that years and years ago. <laughs> we were sitting around, and uh, that came up, and in, in, I was told that Bill Bobo said it. I'll ride him. One world championship. Yeah. Here's your two and three year old stallions. Now go run and walk. a nice class of horses here. Yeah, 
here it is. The real shady and Dan Waddell took the blue. Humble Hurricane, Justin Harris, Jose's best friend man, Tim Smith, Jose's King of Queens, Chad Thompson, Hawkins, Drew Graves, and now that ain't right. That got out of place. Right yeah, it was. Good class of horses. Yeah. Good class of horses. Grooms and farriers. The way you think about that one, <laughs> you should have took the bread over there. Oh, Brad can't show in that class. Oh, he can't? No. He's a trainer. He's a trainer. Country Mile and Bradley Parker took the blue. Mr. Onyx and Tim Reynolds. My honorarium, Jarrett Bradley and Honor the Dollar. Savannah could. Yeah. Vanna go in there and whoop all them boys. You know, she's a good rider. Oh, yeah, she is a good rider. I'm going to have to put up that one of the best door laws in the United States. Is that right? Yeah. I tell you what, she comes out there and works works at the barn. Yeah, she does. She just jumps in there like a man. Does it all. Well, she she got a ribbon the other night. Didn't yeah, she? In, a, in a big class. Yeah, she got a she got I a good thought, ribbon. I there. thought she did good too. She done good. What I was thinking Dennis anyway. Parks, she showed Miss Dennis' horse. So she did better than Dennis. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She rode him pretty good. Dennis was a whole lot prettier. Than yeah, Dennis. that's right. <laughs> She's a lot prettier than Dennis, and that horse probably likes her. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna tell him when I see him. I'm gonna say, "Hey, boy, he, he go, she don't like you. That horse don't like you." He'll see it because he watch it now. He's a he's a prime candidate. He watches this show all the time now, driving truck going home. <laughs> well, don't have no wreck, buddy. She, she, she got a ribbon and you didn't. All right. I guess we, we got to do your job. You didn't took it back. We'll be right back after these messages. During the 2024 breeding season, you will find one of the top stallions in the walking horse industry, I Am Mighty Jose, standing at Precious Memories Farm in the heart of walking horse country. Call Daniel Miller at 931-703-703. 5830 to schedule your mare. Breeding fee is $750, live poll guarantee. Multi-mare discounts are available on request. I am Mighty Jose, a consistent winner in both open and amateur competition. So make that call today to start the process of raising a Tennessee walking horse champion. After months of practicing, Allie Jo Jacobs and T-Time Charlie are ready to tackle the youth show pleasure division in the 2024 World Championship Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. Allie Jo will also be showing Cole Hahn in the youth 11 and under gelding division in hopes of winning top honors. Ali Jo and Haas will be competing in the youth pony competition, rounding out her lineup of her top contenders. Be sure to stand and cheer for Ali Jo Jacobs as she rides for your approval. The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. 
If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. Folks, this is where you send money to help in the legal fund to combat the new proposed rulemaking that the USDA released here a couple weeks ago. This is tax deductible donation as fast as a 501c3 and be sure to put legal fund on your memo line as this guarantees that your money goes exactly where you want it to go. More of What a Horse coming up. You did a good job taking this commercial, but I, I think appreciate you should it. let me keep that quarter. No, no. no. <laughs> I might have to make a phone call. <laughs> make a phone call. You can't do that no more. <laughs> they, they ain't no pay phone. <laughs> you, you notice that if you don't find a pay phone nowhere. You can't anymore, find a pay phone nowhere. You, you stop people on the street saying, I keep a quarter if you let me use a cell phone. I, I tell you what's the funniest thing about it, the roll the roll of phones, you know, young kids now don't even know nothing about how to use that phone. They, they don't know how to tell time on a regular watch. watch either. Either. That's right. If it doesn't read it out, what what's that? <laughs> it? But a rotary phone, yeah. they, they just look at it. They don't know, they have no idea. All right, we, we've made fun of the kids long enough. Bless her heart. <laughs> you, you, you. I watched one the other day try to count change. I done figured it up in my mind, and she, she's waiting for the cash register to tell her what <laughs> <to do. laughs> All right, let's go with the video. War Trace. Right here, Lebanon Under. Now the pony, Remember the pony showed in the pony class yeah. in, in federal. Tea time, Charlie and Allie Joe Jacobs took the blue. Jake Ryan and Harlan Lawrence was reserved. Good time, BKT, Boston, Kate Tillman. Uh -huh. The Megalodon, Wilder Way. In honor it, Elliot Way. I'm gonna tell you what, these two young kids, Wilder and Elliot. Now, I love watching them because they they having a good time oh, out yeah. there. They really are, and they they made good shows. Oh yeah. That's what I like about it is, in Boston, Kate. Now she can flat ride. Yeah. They, these kids, they just get out there to have a good time. Good anyway. time and ride. They have fun. I know the the parents. They they take it a little bit more serious, but these kids they have a yeah. good time. in that class. And there's a lot of people watching it. Yes, sir. And like I said earlier, look at the people watching the show and they ain't back there watching the inspection. Back there. They're, they're in there watching the show. They're watching the show. You know, they had a big crowd. Big crowd of people. Joe done a good job. I thought he did. Mm-hmm. That's a nice horse right there. Ali Joe, I tell you, she can ride now. I think that horse gonna end up in show pleasure class. I really do. Tea time, Charlie and Ali Joe Jacobs took the blue for Jake Jacobs. But I truly believe she's gonna end up in the show pleasure. A flashy horse. That is a nice horse. I don't know, Jerry. He might not want nobody to know that. He probably wanted to be a sneak attack. Sneak attack? Yeah. Now we're advertising it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had the inside scoop. <laughs> right here, Jack Ryan. You talking about steady? Yeah. I mean, I looked at both videos, and I'm here to tell you that horse was steady. Both nights and showed two nights in a row. 
that speaks a lot for the trainer and the horse. And I believe Shane might be the trainer on this one. He might be. Because I see him warm him up at the horse show himself yeah. and everything. I mean, he's, well, Shane is Shane, having Shane, fun. Yeah, he trains quite a yeah. bit of them himself. He, he having fun now. That's what it's all about. Enjoying life. He did, I asked him about going over to the the yearling, and he says, I don't know whether I'll be able to or not. He said, we've had a whole lot of horses the last couple of yeah. weeks. Here's your show pleasure class, and I, this was a good class. Am I the only, no, that's the wrong one. I'm sorry. Got to get back over here where I'm supposed to be. Black Lion and Courtney Tyra took the blue. I'm acting up, and Chris Blevins was reserved. And Sir, with Olivia Balls, was third. This was a good they, class right here. They call me Samson in the cold coffee. And Brother Vengeance, Jennifer Pendleton, finished out the ribbon. But I was, pr I was proud of that horse right there. It was a good class. I, I thought I thought Sir made a good show. I yeah. was tickled to death. Chris Blevins made a good show. You know, he ain't shown in 30-something years. He showed twice here lately. Yeah. He's getting ready for a celebration. Uh -huh. he, that's what he wants to do. That's his bucket list. He wants to show it to celebration. But I got two thrills. I got to watch my horse be inspected by the government and got to watch him put on a show out there and I thought he did great. Uh-huh. I was tickled with him. I'm acting up and Chris Blevins was reserved. Good horse. He made an outstanding Chris show. Made a good, he, he's he's going to be ride. showing twice at the celebration. Yeah. He's got a good good lick now. Oh, yeah. He gets out there. Chris is a veterinarian up in yeah. Dunlap, Tennessee. He's one of my host my call customers. And here's Sir. I thought Olivia did a good job. She used to show out of Callaway stable. Yeah. She's a good rider now. She's won them all. You yeah, that's, name he, she's, she's a real good rider. She's got a, she told me she had three of those big tote bucks, buckets yeah. full of ribbons from when she used to show. And that train ain't too bad either. No, the trainer ain't bad. The, the train ain't bad. No, no, uh, the trainer does a good job. Yeah, he, he you know does him? all right. I, I might know him. <laughs> <laughs> Three-year-old Marin Guild in class. I'm gonna tell you, here it is, Blaze Picard. Am I the only one for Shane Porterfield took the blue? I, it's Jazz at the Ritz, Link Webb, my hula, Hula la, la, I don't know what that says. By ooh la la, R. M. Kelly, Chill's main man Jerry Williams, woohoo, <laughs> and Titleist Chrome Blake Sims finished out the ribbons. But you're right, you did a good job there, Jerry. <laughs> That was a good class here, too. Yeah, it is. You made a good show. There's no doubt about that now. That's a big class. That is, yeah. Lady's riding a good horse. Yeah, that's she a, does. That's, that's, a, that's a good horse. Well, Shane's got some good horses now. Yeah. He does. Yeah. That class was packed. Yeah. Am I the only one in Blaze by Card for Shane Porterfield, your three old Marion Gildan winner?
bit hoist. Blaze, since she come back from her accident, yeah. doing good. And here's your show pleasure rider cup. And this is honors to Mr. Guess and Gwen Williams. Yeah. For Evergreen Walking Horse Farm took the blue Legally Blonde, Dan Waddell, Brenda Mormon, and Cactus Jack, Chad Wave for Jaden Jackson. Honors to Mr. Guess. A nice horse. That is a nice horse. I'm so proud for Miss Virginia. I talked to Virginia Sunday afternoon. Gene's doing real well. That's good. They're getting him a big color TV. It's almost football season. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you gotta watch the Saints. <laughs> yeah, he's got to watch the Saints. Yep. That's a, that's a half to. Honors to Mr. Guest. Good horse. Looking good. Yeah. Wayne does a good job. He does. And here's your three-year-old stallion. And I'm gonna tell you, Jesse Barnes put on a show now. Give you cold chills and Jesse Barnes took the blue for Jerry and Becky Might. Mighty cool, Knox Blackburn, Keith and Lorraine Rosberry, and walk the Dixie line, Brad Beard. Finished out the ribbons. need to find out. Jesse, Jesse's in his mid-20s, isn't he? Yeah, I think Jesse, well, I think Jesse's about 28, 29, something like 28. Yeah. I'll have to check the seat. Yeah. But he did, he did good. He's I'm, I'm good proud job. of him. He, he, kids, when you watch them grow up and they do that yeah. good. Now, he's going to be hard to beat in that three-year-old stud oh, class. Yeah. He's going to be in there. And Becky, now I can tell you, Becky in the amateur division, She's right up there with the top. Yeah. Because that, that's going to be a tough class. Going to be some good ones. And here you go, amateur four-year-old stallions. The Dixie Stampede and Jake Jacobs took the blue. Crosstown rival and Brian Reese was reserved. He's Shady Grady, Sarah Weddington. Finished out the ribbons in that class. This is good. Oh, yeah. Right Open here. specialty. Open specialty class. Cousin Bob. I'm going to tell you, Cousin Bob's a good. Tanner oh, yeah, Burke took the blue for Shane Porterfield. Look at him. Got that head up there uh, high, mm -hmm. shaking it. Hollywood Knights and Thomas Derrickson was reserved. Dim the lights, Nick Plapkin, Dr. Linda Jones. And Boone's Gin, Mickey McCormick for Mike Floyd finished out the ribbons. I like that Boone's Gin. Yeah. I'm glad to see Mickey back in back the saddle. Back in the saddle, right. Yeah. That's right. That tickles me. But you know, Jerry, them, this this horse right here, yeah. I don't care how sick you get, that makes you get that much momentum to get back in the saddle to ride. That's it. Right there's your winner. Cousin Bob and Tanner Burks yeah. for Shane Porterfield. That's a good horse now. Yeah, yeah. That horse been good for a long time. Nice. He left from one Burks trainer to another Burks trainer. That's right. Just keep getting better. Yeah. Good right there. And right here's your amateur stallions. El Ombre in black. And Jake Jacobs took the blue. Jen's black 
Jen, Jen's Black Jen Scout. I'll spit this out. Uh -huh. Jen's Black Jen Scout. Mike Davis. Mossberg and Randy Stone. And back in black, Molly Turner finished out the ribbon. But I'm going to tell you, I like that Black Jen Scout. Yeah. I really do. I like El Hombre. Yeah. But now, Mike Davis did a good job of showing that horse. Black Jen Scout. Black Jen put a lot of good ones on oh, yeah. the ground. I like that right there. Right there's your walking horse steak class. Jose, it ain't so, and R.M. Kelly. Nice horse. For Jake Jacobs. And executive privilege, Ben Moss. I'm Dixie Diva, Brad Beard. Camasta Laquita. Dan Waddell and Cole Mountain Gin. Chadway finished out the ribbons. And that closed out the War Trace Horseship. Got out of there a little after 12. That horse has a good horse to right? ride. Yeah. It's funny being Moss and that he's the only amateur in the class. <laughs> hey, what the heck? He done good. Years and years ago, we had an amateur win the celebration. Yeah. The last time that Tullahoma had a horse show, Ronnie Spears was the judge in an amateur one to state class. When these amateurs show in the stake and other classes against the trainers, yeah. that shows me one thing. They like to show. show. Yep. They they right. they in there for the enjoyment, enjoyment. of it. Because mm -hmm. very seldom do you see an amateur beat a, beat a, someone that's in the, yeah. a, a trainer. I remember Debbie Eichler did that up in I believe it was Smithville one year. Shocked everybody, but she should have won what? last. She she was on a good one. Yeah. Well, we're getting ready for Mr. Kellett over at uh, Jake's barn in. Christiana yeah. and Spencer Benedict. I'm sure if RM will be over. They, I don't know whether they get him lead one or not. <laughs> he probably would. Um, I he, imagine. I know Allie Joe would. Yeah, he probably would. But we're going to say goodbye to everybody for this week. Look forward to the show next week, and we'll be having some interviews for some See people in the celebration. See you later. Have a good one. <laughs>